right guys, so we are on our way to do David's favorite activity. We're going grocery shopping. I want to see if they have my my horror toys at Target. That's not groceries. That's not groceries. But anyway, it's late for us. It is six o'clock and we're just now getting out because I had to work today. It's still Saturday, but I have to work today. And then I came home and took a nap and then I washed and styled my hair. Oh, where's my part? My part has disappeared. Uh, <laughs> shut up, David. Um, and then I did my sit down. Oh my God, I'm covering the camera. I'm not used to recording anymore. Um, I did my sit down video for my August TBR review and then September TBR. I did a little update for you guys. And now we are off to go grocery shopping. We actually don't need that many things. Um, just like, well, I need gas. I will show you guys real quick. I'm like not used to working six days a week. So I didn't think to get gas. Um, so yeah, we need to go get gas for my car. And then the gas station's not closed. I need to get gas for my car at Costco. And then what else are we gonna do? I think we're just gonna go to Giant. Cause like I just need like little things to make. Like I'm gonna make a breakfast casserole this week, like tomorrow. Um, I'm just having chicken salad, like cheese celery i'm gonna make me like some like ranch dip for my celery and then for dinner we're just eating some food out the freezer we're trying to get as many things out of our freezer as we can it's very bumpy right now so i'll come back and talk um to i got these salmon burgers from i don't know if it was costco or sam's club i think it's costco so i'm gonna make those but we're just not gonna eat them as a burger i'm just gonna season them really well and then i'm gonna make like I have potatoes I need to get rid of. So I'm gonna make like mashed potatoes and then we're just gonna have like mixed veggies to get rid of that for dinner. So I really just need to get, oh my God, David, you see me recording and you wanna be freaking gassing it. Like, not gassing it. It was red and it turned red. Anyway, um, so just like I need to get milk, some cheese, breakfast. I'm gonna do like this breakfast casserole where you use like, I really don't like sausage, but I'm not trying to eat bacon all the time. So you put like sausage, cheese, shredded cheese, and then the eggs and you bake it in the oven. My mom used to make it for me and my sister all the time. And I did have this good one, but I don't think David would like it. It was egg whites, spinach, feta cheese, and then the breakfast sausage. Like that was so good, but I know David wouldn't like that. So I'm just gonna make it. Yeah, David's really weird with eggs. So it just has to be like pretty basic for him. So I'm just gonna make it like cheesy eggs basically. So I'm gonna do that quick grocery store and then me and Dave are gonna go to dinner. I don't know where we're going yet. I haven't decided, but I'm like, since I did my makeup, we're going somewhere. I don't know where though. And then tomorrow we're gonna go see Blue Beetle, which <laughs> I'm excited to see. I really wanted to see it, but the only thing is um, it's kind of early and I don't like getting up early on Sundays. So we'll see how that goes but we're gonna go see that tomorrow morning and then when i get home i'm a meal prep for the week and then that's basically it so i will see you guys probably i'll show you guys like obviously like a grocery haul probably show you guys what we get to eat tonight and then i'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys so we're back from the store really quickly want to show you what we got for giant me and david are actually heading out to like one of our favorite restaurants. We decided last minute where we're going. So, woo, sorry. That was like leaning against one of the things I got. So really like it wasn't a major grocery haul. Like we just needed like little minor things to be able to throw together meals. I was trying to do a no buy um, weekend and realized I didn't have a lot of the basics I needed. So hopefully sometime soon I can do a no buy weekend. But we just got these um cracker cut piece of cheese because I'm gonna eat chicken salad this week for lunch I'm just gonna do crackers celery and like the ranch dip that you make with sour cream and then David's gonna eat tuna fish and crackers and celery and then we also got like the pepper jack one and then we got the celery we didn't have any they had a two for five which was good and then David's gonna try out the zero sugar caramel macchiato we haven't tried any of the zero sugar ones and he barely puts any creamer in his coffee anyway, so. But he just like is very health conscious about certain things that have like like sugary drinks and stuff. So we're gonna see if he likes it. Um, then 
I'm pretty sure I'll like it. I'm gonna try it too, but we gotta mainly for him to try it. And then like I'm making this egg casserole thing for us for breakfast this week. So it's just gonna be um eggs, cheese, and then we're gonna use sausage. So I got triple cheddar, the creamy melt, and then the Colby Jack. I'm just gonna mix the two. And then I got the maple sausages. I got one for this week and I just got one to throw in the freezer for the next time we want to make it. And then for Willow, I got her yogurt. They didn't have like the Greek yogurt. <clears throat> and then the ones they did have were like $9 and they sell the same brand at Walmart for $4.99. So I said, oh no, I'm not buying that. And then we just got sour cream for us to make the dip. And then um, we have some potatoes we need to get rid of. So I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and I put sour cream in my mashed potatoes. And then um, David's gonna also try the zero sugar Chobani. He got black cherry. And I already like these ones, the less sugar ones. So they had a lemon flavor. He got two of those. And then he got a vanilla cinnamon, I think. And then I got, um, they were 10 for 10. So that's why we got them. Usually David gets all like his yogurts from Costco. He eats yogurt every morning. I don't. I like the yogurt drinks better actually. But I got like the key lime for me. I also got the peach less sugar one. And then I got strawberry banana. And then I also got myself a vanilla sugar. And I think I got a lemon. Yeah. And then I got a lemon for me as well. But yeah, that's all we got. <laughs> like very simple things we needed. Everything else is literally in our freezer or already in the fridge. So I will show you guys when I'm meal prepping um, for this week. And I will show you guys us at dinner. So I will catch up with you guys real soon. David, I'm getting you on camera. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Sunday. And David and I are on our way to go see Blue Beetle. Um, we just left Walmart <laughs> because I forgot to get so much stuff yesterday. I wasn't even thinking about it. And we actually still have to go to Costco again. Well, wait, we didn't go to Costco yesterday. We gotta go to Costco after the movie because we need milk. But yeah, we're on our way to go see Blue Beetle. I will let you guys know what we think when it's over. I guess, and we're home from the movie. We saw a Blue Beetle. I think I said that already. It was actually really good. And they definitely at the end, you know how they show the credits for like DC Marvel movies where they show you like um preview of another movie. So they definitely alluded to the fact that like they're going to make another one, which, sorry, I keep messing with my hair, which will be cool. I actually got foundation in my hair the other day. So like this part has my foundation lord help me but anyway so yeah the movie was really good we stopped at costco to get milk i'm not gonna show you guys that we stopped at costco to get milk and i had to get um garlic because i'm making mashed potatoes but um that was really it we're about to eat lunch it is 140 um 141 we're about making for breakfast this week i'm making like a breakfast big thing it's just i explained that yesterday but i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put that in the oven this evening and then I'm doing, so we get these salmon burgers. I don't know, I had to show you a burger, but we get these salmon burgers, but we're just not gonna eat them as burgers. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna season them and we're just gonna eat them with vegetables and mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna prep that, but we're not, we actually have, still have leftovers. So we're gonna eat that tonight for dinner just to get those gone. And that's about it. So if I don't come back on to show you guys the breakfast bake, like if I forget, I will definitely talk to you guys tomorrow, Monday after work. Willow is whining. But yeah, so I will see you guys either later today or tomorrow. Hi guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make this breakfast casserole. I low-key forgot to start filming until I was like basically about to put it together. But luckily I remembered. So I'm just gonna, maybe I'll try doing a voiceover. I'm just gonna show you guys how I assemble it really quickly. Yeah, I guess I'll do a voice. I'll try a voiceover. Let's do something. Else. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so for this part, I just cracked, I think about 12 eggs in here, and then I'm just gonna scramble them. And then once I got them scrambled, I'm gonna go ahead and go in and add in some seasonings. So first I'm adding in some black pepper. Obviously like add in whatever seasonings you wanna use for your eggs. I just want them to be flavorful because I know they were gonna be more dry. And then next I added in um, onion powder. But yeah, like I was saying, I added in um, more seasonings than I normally would because I knew they would be drier because they were being baked in the oven. Next I add in smoked paprika. 
And then, I think after that I added in some garlic powder, which we'll see in the next clip. And then once I got all those added in, I just mixed it really well and got it as blended as I could. If you scramble eggs in a bowl, you know it's very annoying when you add in seasonings. It always gets stuck to the side of the bowl. But I did the best I could. Next, I added in the creamy melts. So we have Colby Jack and then triple cheddar. I added then probably less than half of each bag to the mixture because I'm going to add more on top later. But I just wanted to have like cheese mixed throughout. So that's what you see me doing here. So next, all I'm doing is chopping up the sausage. These are the maple sausages that I showed you guys in the haul. I'm just chopping those up. And then that's the finished product right there. And then I'm going to add that into the egg mixture. So you'll see me doing that next. So I'm just bringing back over the eggs mixed with the cheese and then I'm just going to gracefully try to drop the sausages in there. As you can see, it was not working out how I thought. Then we're going to move on and I'm going to spray down the pan. And then once I get the pan sprayed down, then I'm just going to pour the mixture into the pan and then bake it in the oven. And then that's pretty much it. I added a little bit more cheese on top, I think. Um, that should be in the next clip, actually. So here I am just adding more cheese on top. And then I put it in the oven. I'm just cleaning off the counter really quickly. And that's really it, guys. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. Doesn't it look good? Yeah. And then I'm just going to slice it. Very fluffy. <laughs> Hi guys, happy Monday. Um, I think the last clip you guys saw was me making the breakfast bake um, for breakfast for me and David for the week. It's Monday afternoon, it's 3.36. I just got home from work. I literally <clears throat> am so tired. I was gonna work late today but I've, been, I've had a headache all day long. Sorry, I've had a headache all day long. I'm just tired. It's like gloomy outside. It's supposed to rain later this evening. And I just wasn't feeling it. It's Monday. Um, I definitely will be working late tomorrow because I have a dentist appointment. So I'm just going to work until my dentist appointment's over. But I'm tired. I just want to pop on and say hi. Um, I'm about to go work on some business stuff. And then... What else do I need to do? Sorry. I'm like looking at my little board over there. I don't know. I was reading a note or whatever. But anyway, um, I'm about to hop, go downstairs, work on some business stuff really quickly, then come up here and I'm making the mashed potatoes to go with our dinner for the week. Um, Hi guys. Happy, what's today? Wednesday. Monday. David and I went to a baseball game earlier, which I'll insert a little clip of that. And now we just finished Jaws and we're about to watch Jaws 2. David's saying hi. But yeah, I've never seen Jaws. So Davis is a masterpiece. The first one is a masterpiece. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. So let me know if you guys, what do you guys think about Jaws? Do you think it's a masterpiece? Do you think it's just a classic movie? Because you know it's old. Let me know what you think. Ain't no other shark movie as good as Jaws ever. And that's saying something, because it was made in the 70s. <laughs> By now something should be better, correct? But it's not, you know why? Masterpiece. I'm glad you heard me. Thank you for hearing me out. <laughs> So we're about to watch Jaws 2. And, um, yeah. It's not a masterpiece, but it's good. It's fun. It's it's fun. <laughs> Jaws 3, horrible. Jaws 4, the idea about it that the shark's coming to track them down. Wow, David. So On you're just giving away the movies to me? States, I mean, it's not ruining anything. It's like followed them to, like, Hawaii. Because the shark's like looking at his map like, yeah, I know where they're going. <laughs> now I'm going to go get him. 
Yeah, that's a little insane. But yeah, so. I think I'm going to get you followers just by talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're drinking coffee in the evening time because we're old. And <laughs> we're watching Jaws 2. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys <laughs> later. Just want to give you an update. Um, if I had to rate Jaws on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it like an 8. That's fair. I appreciate it. Like, that's fair. Yeah. I liked it. It was a good story. I just, I feel like movies end too soon for me. Like, I still have questions. Like, okay, y'all made it back to the beach, but then what did y'all tell the people in the town? Well, we're about to watch what, the second one. Well, I don't know. That's what I'm saying, but that's how the first one ended. I'm left on a cliffhanger. I feel like I read a book. But yeah, so we're about to watch the second one. I'll see if I'll see if the second one changes my rating for the first one. So. I highly recommend Jaws. Highly Even recommend some it. People, you know, you're like, I don't like old movies. Like, no, it, it, it's worth it. It's very good. So yeah, we'll see, guys. If you like Jurassic Park? You can give this a, this a fair try. I told him he can't compare this to Jurassic Park. I mean, Total different concepts. One is about a shark and one is about dinosaurs. Okay. Cannot compare the two. Same kind of concept. The creature trying to kill them, you know, trying to survive. Anyway, so I will talk to you guys later. We're going to watch this movie before I have to go to bed. Quick update, guys. I'm just getting home from work right now and it's 8.50 p.m. 8.50 p.m. Oh, hi, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, guys. I literally... As you saw in the last little clip, I'm just getting home. It's 8.50 p.m. I am exhausted. You can hear the dogs crying because they're like, where the fuck were you? Um, yeah. I am tired. Like, I, I'm like the type of tired, like, when you get home late from work where, like, you just want to get in bed. Like, you don't even care about eating dinner. That's how I feel. Like, I just want to get, I want to take a shower, get in bed, <laughs> and that's about it. Because literally, today was an 11-hour day, and tomorrow is about to be an 11-hour day. I knew today was going to be an 11-hour day, so I went to work later. Because I'm like, if I'm going to be at work late, I want to miss all the traffic coming home. I didn't want to come home during rush hour. And I want to be able to sleep in so I feel real rested. Because whenever I get to work at 6, 6.30, I'm exhausted. Like, because even though I'm getting to work at 6.30, I'm getting up at 5 o'clock, 5.15. So I just always feel like so not rested because david on the nights he works his part-time job he literally gets home at 11 30 so i get woken up and it takes me sometimes i fall asleep i'm not gonna lie sometimes i fall right back to sleep but sometimes i can't go back to sleep for like 30 minutes to an hour so then right there it's like midnight one in the morning and then i have to get up at five and like once your sleep is interrupted it doesn't matter how much sleep you got before that like you feel like you just fell asleep so i am going to really quickly feed the dogs take a shower, put my stuff in the fridge, and I will definitely catch up with you guys. Probably not tomorrow either because it's going to be another 11-hour day, but I'll catch up with you guys Saturday. Um, I'm working Saturday morning, but me and David still are... We actually may not go grocery shopping Saturday, so I may actually end the vlog, this vlog on Sunday, and then start the next vlog also on Sunday because we may go grocery shopping on Sunday and I always like to end my vlogs with the grocery shopping trip like showing you guys what I got so I don't know we'll see what happens but just know I will keep you guys updated um but yeah work work whew. like I, I really do love my job but I do not love me making up time and this is all like obviously me my choice like I don't have to make up the time but I want my money. You know what I mean? Like, my bosses are very flexible. They're like, you can make up the time. You can not use your time off. You can use your time off. Like, it's up to, it was 100% up to me. And I chose to make up the time so I could save my time off. Because we have two trips. Um, Sorry. I feel like I got eyelashes in my eye. We have two trips coming up. I'm going to stop talking. I need to drink water. I'm dehydrated. Like, I had water at work. But then my stomach was hurting. So then I started drinking ginger ale. And, like, now I'm just dehydrated. So... Yeah, I'm done talking. I will talk to you guys later. As you can see, my hair is the end of the week. So, like, the curls are, like, um, not, like, not as defined anymore. But it's also, like, tomorrow's Friday. So, like, I'm not about to wash my hair, do my whole routine. I used to do that in the beginning. Like, I was washing my hair every three days because I wanted my curls to look very defined. 
And if it wasn't lasting, I was getting frustrated, but I have learned to embrace the poof. Like, I do not care anymore. Like, it is what it is. Like, some weeks I will wash my hair two times that week to redefine it. Like, if I have something to do Friday after work or something to do Saturday, but like all I'm doing is working. So I'm gonna take my time. I like taking my time when I do my hair to get the curls as defined as I can. I'm almost done talking. <laughs> They're like, can you shut the fuck up and feed us? But um, I just like to get the curls as defined as I can and take my time. And like, I know if I were to try to wash my hair tonight, I would be rushing and it wouldn't dry right. And then it'd be flat. You know, you, if you're natural, you know, you know. But um, if you know, you know. But anyway, like I said, I will catch up with you guys soon. I just got this random burst of energy which we'll see how that how that plays out but um since i'm wide awake and david gets home at 11 30 there's no point in trying to go to sleep like by the time i get the shower and all that stuff it's gonna be like 10 anyway so i'm probably gonna watch the ultimatum let me know if you guys have been watching it these people are crazy first of all if you could give someone an ultimatum about either you marry me or i'm leaving you i think that already tells you you need to leave the relationship but I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. But yeah, I'm going to watch that. So I will see you guys either, not tomorrow. So I will see you guys Saturday or Sunday, depending on when I go grocery shopping. Bye. Hi, guys. Today is Saturday. I think the last time I updated you guys was Thursday. And I was telling you guys how I was working the crazy schedule. I just got home. I worked this morning. I did five hours. So it wasn't too bad. But I worked 12 hours yesterday. So... When I say I am exhausted, I am exhausted. Hold on. I'm like trying to put my lighting in a new, I'm trying my lighting on a new area cause it like makes my um, phone like really top heavy, but it was giving me a bad shadow and we don't need that. So um, anyway, I came home really quick. I had to go get Willow new food, Miss Diva. Um, so Willow, if you have a German Shepherd, you know. If you know, you know if you have a German Shepherd. But Willow is like the special breed of German Shepherd. I'm looking at her right now. Um, Willow Willow and her food journey has been so difficult for me for the past three years. I, of course, did so much research trying to get her on like high quality dog food. Um, I started her, when she was a puppy, she was on like the Merrick puppy food. Then I put her on this brand that's like not sold at like chain um, pet stores. It's sold at this local pet store. Um, I'm trying to think what it was called. I just remember it was a green bag. Oh, I was gonna look it up, but I'm recording on my phone. But she's on that. If I can find the name of it, I will like insert it in this clip. She's on that dog food for a while. Then I moved her to, I think it's called Natural. Let me look. <laughs> let me look, let me look. Hey, no barking. I opened up her food container. She's like, don't touch that. Um, then I beat her to natural balance. And through this time, Willow has had very bad allergies, very itchy all the time. She's like, she keeps hearing her name. So she's like, what do you want? She's like, what do you want? You see her, you see her friend back there? I can't see it. I'm trying to show y'all stuff, but I don't know if it's working. I'm like out of it. I'm tired. But anyway, um, she... So I put on natural balance and through this whole time of the past three years, Willow has always had skin issues. She's always very itchy, irritated. I put her on so many expensive medications, generic medications. We put her on this new medication that's called like Apoquil, which like <clears throat> isn't an allergy medication per se. It blocks the itchy feeling that the dogs feel so they don't scratch. She was still scratching on that. And that was like one, that cost me 150 a month. Um, I got her allergy shots didn't work that was like a hundred dollars a shot benadryl really works the best and it's weird because i will have to do a whole story time about willow actually um maybe i'll do it later today depending but anyway tried so many things switched vets whatever um and she was always on a chicken or beef type of food and i just kept doing research and i'm like i think willow's allergic to chicken and beef but she, cause she would always get these upset stomachs, like every few weeks, every six weeks. And I would have to put her on boiled chicken and rice and she would do okay. Cause she loved it. Hello. She's not eating, you know, kibble. Um, but it was like her stomach never seemed to settle. Like every day she was having some type of soft or like, sorry guys, but like diarrhea TMI, I know. Um, 
So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try on this thing. And everyone was saying like, oh, like my dog was very sensitive, but I switched into this lamb recipe and like, they're great. Put her on it. She loved it. Great, right? And that was like maybe six months ago. And this is like the longest she's been on like the same flavor of food too. Cause I mean, I've done the wet food. Like I was going to Wegmans, buying Wegmans dog food, putting that on, on top of her food. Like so I've done whatever you can think of. I've tried it. Food choppers, everything to get this dog to eat. Cause she's very lean body. But the new vet was saying like, that's just her body type. Like she has German Shepherds, German Shepherd mixes. Some are very lean body type and that's what Willow is. So she's always going to be small regardless of if she's eating or not. But Willow is a very picky eater. When Willow is over her food, she goes on food strike. She will not eat. She, she will go days. And of course I freak out. Cause like, I'm like, okay, putting yogurt on her food, Greek yogurt, <clears throat> green beans, pumpkin sweet potato. i literally anything to uh, to make her want to eat broth water like making the kibble softer she'll do that like for example she was on the yogurt for a month was tearing her food up again loved it um then that wasn't working added green beans hated it she ate the green beans one day wouldn't eat the next day so she was basically going where like i would have to sit there and be like you're a good girl come on but, like encourage her to eat and she would eat maybe half the bowl and then she's like no i'm not doing this so whew, it's very stressful but so today i was like david we gotta switch the the flavor that's what it is like she does not like the flavor of the food anymore she's been on for six months willow is not like taz taz he will eat whatever you put in front of him he does not care he's greedy he always tries to eat her food if she don't eat it he's gonna eat it um so today we went and got the salmon flavor tore it up gone so we'll see we will see how long this lasts because she's done this to me before where she likes it like the first two to three days because she also hasn't been eating like the full amount she's supposed to so she likes it and then she'll start not liking it again but that this this bag i just spent a hundred dollars at PetSmart getting her food and i got her twice i got her um willow has a lot of like stuffed animals bones but i got her a cognitive toy so it's like this thing where let me get it from her because she's mad about it. she's mad about it She's mad about it. Oh, y'all. Willow. Let me show you this. She's so mad about this toy. She put it away. I'm going to show y'all, okay? There's a little diva in action. So, that's one of her toys that needs to get thrown away. So, when Willow has a toy that needs to be thrown away, I slowly start replacing them. Because, like, she hit... Taz actually decapitated him. Taz is terrible with her toys. He does not want his own toys. Mr. Grouch right there. He does not want his own toys. He only wants bones, which he can't have. Because he has, a uh, His teeth are weak. And he breaks his teeth on bones. So, he's pouting. Because Willow got a new toy. And he will... If I gave him the toy, he wouldn't want it. You know what I mean? But he's just mad that she got something. Normal kid stuff. But anyway, I got her this toy here. She put it away. Like, she put it back. Hi, ma'am. Can I show them? Okay. You can play with that one. I got her this toy. Already covered in her hair because, you know, German Shepherd. But it's a, it's like this and it has a ball in it. And she's pissed at it. Like, look. She's so mad about this damn toy. She's mad because she can't get the ball out. And she loves tennis balls. So, I just, I just need something that's going to, like, occupy her but also challenge her besides her just throwing around her little toys so she's she's mad um but yeah also so i just wanted to show y'all that real quick look at her y'all i'm so scared that she's gonna fling this thing right into the tv like i'm terrified she's gonna do that so i will be watching her with that one but yeah but yeah so i got her that toy just something to help you know keep her busy german shepherds are working dogs they love working so i'm just gonna tr i'm trying to help you know get that drive down um david is hanging out with his friend today so like tonight it's just gonna be me i may possibly hang out with my aunt but <coughs> excuse me i may possibly hang out with my aunt but i'm not sure about that yet because i am beat like i'm not um I'm, i would not be entertaining today you know what i mean like i don't have the energy for anything um but i just wanted to update you guys so it was funny so I use my iPad for everything. Like, I edit my videos on there. Basically, everything with, like, YouTube, I use my iPad for. Um, 
But I like, I think I've talked about it, like I'm beating the dead horse, but um, I literally am doing this whole financial journey. So I was like, you know what? Like I'm really bad with planners. Like I have a hard, hard, like I have a book planner, like one that I physically write in. And I use that for like work only. Like I use that. So I know like, okay, doctor's appointment this day, you need to leave it this time. But I want like, I wanted my financial planner not to be a, like a physical book I have to carry because of the way Taylor is, AKA I'm talking about myself in third person. The way I am with um, planners are, I will be great at using them every day for like a month and then I don't use it for a month. And then we get to the end of the year and I've only written it like four months out the whole time. Um, work wise, that's fine though, because I usually just use it to put like paydays, doctor's appointment, whatever. But your girl is moving on to the digital plan and error. I got to get on that because <clears throat> first of all, I'm tired of these planners. A little sidebar. Um, when me and David first started our business, I was like, we need planners. Like we need to stay organized. I found this beautiful planner. It's still in my room because I'm going to use it as note paper. Um, it costs us $70 a piece per planner. Why did I do that? David was hot. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> It, like as y'all get to know David's personality, you will know he's a penny pincher. So he's like, "What the fuck? I don't want no damn planner." And then it costs that much. But um, anyway, so I'm just gonna use that note paper. I just use it for like if someone calls involving our business, I just write down the notes in the planner or whatever. Okay. But anyway, so I'm tired with so many planners. Like the planner I have now cost me twenty bucks from Target, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm about to start this digital planner error. And I happened, and I was talking to my friend, cause she does digital planning for um books or whatever like the books keep track of books you write i was like i need to do it. like i want to do that because like that's how i'm going to be organized i have to do my tbr videos i literally all my thoughts favorite quotes because like i have favorite quotes from the book um that i talked to you guys about but i couldn't remember them on the spot you know what i'm saying so like this will keep me more organized so i'm gonna work on that i'm gonna go back and do that for like the lies i tell in the book i'm currently reading and then i also ordered me uh, so anyway i went on etsy etsy was having sales on all digital planners like these planners were gonna originally like seven to eight dollars which was not bad but they were on sale for like two bucks so i got three planners that i will have forever for eight bucks so i got that i got a financial planner so i can literally keep track of all my debt where all my money's going like i'm gonna be very meticulous and very organized with that because i'm the person like the only way i'm gonna stay on top of something is i am overly not obsessed about it but if i am every week or every day writing down what i'm doing if i slack a little bit then i go completely off the path so i'm gonna sit down today start writing in that the only thing is that i'm confused about so if anyone uses digital planners please give me a tip but like for example there's like this one page where you can track your weekly spending but i'm like okay if i fill out this page if i go click on that again am i gonna get a new page that's the same format or is there only one page in the digital planner that is you like i don't know so i gotta play around with that and try to figure that out also the the person that created on etsy like you can reach out to her with any questions so worst case scenario if i can't figure it out i'll reach out to her um and then i also got a fitness tracker so like when i i'm not gonna start that one yet i just got it because it also was on sale but like to help keep track when i do um i mean i could start now because i am i've lost like four pounds being low carb but um just to like track my bariatric journey like when i do have the surgery like i'm gonna do all the measurements like the neck the arms the legs waist everything put that down just to like because i know a lot of people say like of, like there's a lot of stalls with weight loss especially when you have pcos it's not like weight loss regardless is not linear like it's gonna go up and down so like i know measurements are very key and important it just helps you like track meals recipes all that and like that's good because i always wanted a recipe book because like i'll make a recipe and i'm the person i don't measure properly i just season with my heart you know um so that way it will help me keep track of like things i liked or whatever you know so i'm just excited about it so i literally plan to sit down i need to eat i have not had any food today it's 12 48 i'm hungry i've been awake since 4 30 so should probably eat something so i'm gonna eat i think i have a salad left over i have some salmon i'm just gonna eat that dinner i really want chipotle i just am craving mexican like i want to go to my favorite mexican restaurant but i'm not going there by myself and i feel like takeout is never the same as if you eat in person i always feel like the portions like um once you get takeout is like always smaller or just like not 
it don't hit the same you know what i'm saying um i mean i could reach out to one of my friends and be like you want to go to dinner why don't i do that like i be so sad and be like oh my god i don't hang out with anyone i have no but then i also and i don't reach out but then when i do reach out and make the plans i feel like certain friend groups i'm the only one that makes the plans like they don't ever reach out to me and be like hey let's do dinner let's do that like it's always me you know and i actually did a test with like one of my like one of my friends which i mean uh, it sounds like petty i'm like all right i'm not gonna plan nothing this year i'm just gonna see if she plans anything for us to get together i have not seen her since my wedding <laughs> she has not made any plans with me at all so yeah <laughs> but it's just like it's exhausting when you feel like you're the only one put it pouring into the friendship cup and it's not being poured back into you so the only person I go out with is David or my aunt. <laughs> my sisters occasionally, but like they're busy. Like they're both teachers. So like the school year just started. So <sighs> yeah, so I just go out with David and he's at his friend's house. I'm telling you, it's like every time he hangs out with his friends, that's when I get sad. Cause I'm like, who am I supposed to hang out with? I have no one, but I'm reframing and reshaping my mind because I'm like, girl, you have alone time. Like you're exhausted. Like I'm gonna do my everything shower today like all the shaving all that stuff so like i'll show you guys later tonight like what products i'm using i think i'm gonna wash my hair tonight because if y'all can see it's not you see like this is like not as defined as this so um i if i want my hair to, the curls to stay like super defined i need to wash my hair every four days and resell it every four days but i've been working hello i've been working crazy hours i worked 40 I worked 46 hours this week. It would have been over 50, but I went to a baseball game with David and I had to get off work. I only worked a half day that day. So that's also why I worked 11, 12 hour days the past, like Thursday, Friday, because I was trying to make up time and then still be over. It's a mess. But anyway, if I want my curls really defined, my hair needs to be done every four days. And I did not have time this week to like, my routine is so, if you're natural, you know. Um... Just like the wash and deep conditioning, any type of treatment, protein or whatever, any type of mask. That right there, washing, body shower, shaving, all that. I'm in the shower for like an hour, 30 minutes. Boom, get out the shower. Then you hot. Then you gotta, what is next? Then just the styling of the hair. Like you gotta make sure the hair stays wet. Spraying it down, going section by section, detangling. Like it's just so much. And I cannot do that during the work week. I've done it a few times and I get so mad because I'll be in the bathroom till like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. And then I got to blow dry my hair because I can't sleep on the wet hair because it's going to be flat. <sighs> I digress. I digress. But yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that. Like just having a me day. Like, um, so my nails, I, <laughs> a little play with her toy that really needs to be thrown away, but it's her favorite toy. So I don't have the heart to throw it away. And David's mom, so nice of her. She willow decapitated him as spider-man and um david's mom sewed sewed his head back on but she said she wasn't gonna do it again if it happened so he he's back to that point i'm gonna see if my dad will do it i'm gonna ask him but anyway um before i started actually youtube i used to always get my nails done but saving money we're not getting our nails done no more and except for pedicures i'm not i can't i'm not gonna say i can't do it but i don't have the patience and like i would have to buy like the foot soap i'm not doing that like it's just cheaper for me to go give someone my 30 50 sometimes 80 dollars and get that done um i actually want to get a pedicure today but i like to make sure my legs are straight. like it's not like my legs are hairy but you know how you can feel the hair coming back like and then the lighting at the nail salon always shows the hair or is that just me like it looks worse than what it is when you're at home anyway i need to go get a pedicure this week coming up I don't know how I'm going to fit that in because I'm still working crazy hours, but I need to do that. But also back to that. So I took my nails off. I always got my go-to shape used to be coffin. I, I will have to find like, if you follow me on Instagram, I have a real thing, like a safe thing of how all my nails I used to do. And then I went to coffin. I mean, no, I, then I went to almond shape and I think that's my favorite shape. But anyway, got them taken off because your girl is not spending a hundred something dollars every two weeks that's two hundred dollars that can be repurposed to pay off debt and you know we're grown and we're trying to save up for lots of things um 
<laughs> so I just like David for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. He purchased me my own like at home gel nail kit, just like you know, painting your nails gel. And I've done it like three times. Isn't that terrible? Only three times. But it takes a lot of work and you have to get really skilled at like doing the thin layers because like if it's too thick, that stuff will start peeling that night or the next day. But um it's a work in progress. I'm working on it. Sorry. She's just taking every toy out of the box now. Um but anyway, so when I took the nails off this time, I went to a new place, not my normal girl. And I don't know what it is, but usually when I took nails off, my nails are really strong and they grow fast. My nails have been so brittle and chipping. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but like, it really still has like the, uh, let me see. I'm trying to like get it to focus, but my nails have like the, you see it like the indent from the fake nail still. And like, you see it's still at the top, but like. I've been putting this, um, I think it's Sally Hansen nail hard, hard as nail stuff because my nails are brittle and breaking. So I didn't want to do go right to gel yet. But it's been like a month and they're so brittle and break. I have to cut my nails. I just cut them last night because once they get past a certain length, they just start chipping. But anyway, so I thought about getting press on nails in the meantime, in between. <laughs> and also is like having a sale on some press on nails. I thought about that. I thought about ordering like the Gel X kit, doing it myself. Cause I, my thing is if I have enough, if I'm calm enough and, and being patient that day, I can teach myself anything. Like that's how I feel about it. I feel like anybody can teach themselves anything. You may not be perfect at it, but time, patience, practice, you'll get better. So I could teach myself how to do my own like full set if I really wanted to, but I don't know. So I think I'm just going to do baby steps and get these nails to be a little bit stronger i just gotta deal with clear and then go back to painting my nails with gel Th that was a long roundabout way of saying that guys but that's my plan for that <laughs> uh, excuse me that's my plan for that um but yes yeah, so i think i'm just gonna do like my everything shower i brought wax strips that's what i was gonna talk about i brought like the nair wax strips where you don't even have to like remember like a while ago maybe they still do this but like i remember when i was like in my early 20s maybe 19 ish like the wax strips that were already pre-made you had to like rub them in your hands to warm them up warm the wax up before you could use it out no 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 um but this one said you didn't have to warm it up and i like tried to use it because i'm like let's try waxing the face versus using an eyebrow razor because i'm starting to get like that dark shadow ish back and i've had a dark shadow since 20 18 because I used to do laser hair removal in 28 2017 2018 um but I think it's it's been years and they told me at the place like with PCOS your hair will grow back it's not gonna be permanent blah 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 um and I wanted to go get a touch up one but they said like the girl couldn't tell me the real price and I was like I need numbing cream and then it was a whole fiasco with that and then I just never called back to schedule I still may do that but I want to try the cheaper options first first because I've already been through laser and it's still not permanent so if it's not permanent but if waxing gives me the same results as the laser in a sense and it's cheaper and I can do it at home I think I'm gonna try that um I have had my face wax before when I was like before I did laser hair removal but I did it like a nail salon which don't do that um and she really because like a lot of my hairs are not like they don't grow long but there's a lot of them and they're short and so the wax didn't really pick it up and so she literally was like tweezing. And I remember it was bleeding and then it got really bumpy. And that's kind of what pushed me towards laser hair removal, actually. Um, but I think I'm going to try waxing because I feel like there's so many tutorials online, etc. Where you can teach yourself how to do it. And I see a lot of people wax their faces at home, their mustache. Some people do their own bikinis. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can do my own bikini at home. But um, I'm going to try that and see but i tried to do it this wednesday but i guess the hair wasn't long enough because i just shaved my face tuesday so i'm trying today is saturday i did not shave my face yesterday i'm trying to not shave my face this whole weekend and then <laughs> i'm trying because soon as i see hair i want it gone um but i'm trying not to shave my face and then i'm gonna try to wax it monday we'll see we'll see if it picks up anything because it was not picking up anything but yeah, so I've been running my mouth for like a good, good 15 something minutes. I don't know. Something about when I get in the kitchen, I just want to talk. You're not getting no more food. Anyway, um, 
but yeah i'm excited i my plan is to basically sit down with all my financials because i paid some bills yesterday just write down plan out where my money's going because i feel like when i have a plan for my money i'm less likely to just spend it frivolously and it's not like i do that anyway like let me let me give myself credit i am very good at not buying things unless it's a necessity when i am in my seat okay so like i was saying mm. so yeah so i'm really good at that so i just want to still see how i'm doing like i feel like when you see it like written down even in your bank account it gives you like that so my plan is sit down start organizing my financial planner hi guys so I don't know where I left off yesterday. I'm pretty sure I said I was gonna finish the vlog by going grocery shopping, but I didn't go grocery shopping today. So, um, excuse me, David. <laughs> I just lit. Mm, I literally was in bed all day until like 3:30, <laughs> and then I got up and washed my hair, and took a shower. So I think I'm gonna. I'm still gonna end the vlog today um so next week's vlog will probably have like two grocery hauls in it maybe depending depending on what happens I don't, i'm not even gonna try to say what's gonna happen because every time i make a plan yeah every time i make a plan the plan doesn't work out so um i'm gonna start the vlog tomorrow the next vlog and i will be going grocery shopping then um but yeah so it is six o'clock we are actually heading to the mall real quick because David needs to return these shoes he got that didn't fit. But you know what's so stupid? Like he ordered these shoes from New Balance and they didn't actually send a receipt. They just sent, like it says, thanks for your order. And then they sent the, like your order has shipped email and that was it. So I don't know. And then the people at this actual New Balance store was like, bring up the receipt, but there technically isn't a receipt. But um, I will catch up with you guys later. We're gonna get food, and then that's gonna be really the end of the vlog. I'll show you guys what we get for dinner, hangry. and that's about it. I am hangry. I'm very hangry. Very scary. I have not had any food today. I'm literally starving, and it's six o'clock. I have had nothing to eat. I'm really hungry, oh, and I'm on my for all the husbands everywhere. and I'm on my period, so I'm not happy. <laughs> but yeah, so I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. But anyway guys, I just wanted to end the vlog. Um, I didn't get to get any clips of us at dinner because we went to Cheesecake Factory and the lighting in there is just not the best. But yeah, so I'll see you in the next one.